Hello, welcome to 30 Minutes. I'm Rick Anthony. Uh, this will be the fifth in a series of visits we've had with Dr. Hilary Ponce, who is a social and political scientist, researcher, author. Uh, fifth in a series leading up to and now, immediately after, the historic election, presidential election in this country. Uh, the winner being on my side, the loser being on your side. I think we established that in the four preceding. When do I Business get? When, when do I get to? I'll, I'll give you a clue. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a clue. But again, welcome. Nice to have you here. Oh, it's a always. pleasure. Don't we usually uh, start with a handshake? Hillard, Hillard. Yes, yes, you're yeah. welcome. Okay. Hillard is a friend as uh, as well as an expert in his field, and I always enjoy visiting with him. So here we go. Um, a week ago, we had an election in this country. You may have heard about it. It was in all the papers, and there were these two titans who came up against one another, and. All the prognosticators, all the pundits, all the people who are supposed to be experts in what they do, like counting numbers and Got trends and so on, they all said, and we all approached that day, right. April Day, as right. the, the winner, the anointed, right. was one person. We got it wrong. And we, they got it all wrong. Right. They got it all in wrong. Fact, in fact, I... And I, we woke up, the country woke up the next day, as some others have said, with half the country absolutely, well, elated may not be the right word, but at least happier, comparatively. And the other in, in mourning. Uh, I'm surprised you're not wearing a black armband. So what happened? Well, first off, um, yes. I, I want to I want to admit. Congratulate. It. Well, admit it. And I and I and I would congratulate you. And yeah. I would and I, and in fact, I absolutely wish and I that you had not said. Um, I hope Donald Trump wins. Yeah. I wish you had said I. But it, it was in my heart. I simply didn't articulate it. Let's let's let's. Um, maintain integrity for your show. <laughs> right. If you had only said I <laughs> sure or I think that that would that that you that would have been a brilliant would, that would have been, been a brilliant moment in a four five show series. Prescient it would have it would have been the five the, the series was terrific by yes, the way. Yes, yeah. Your fans tell me so. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> we do this a lot when we <laughs> <laughs> We can use the plural at this point. <laughs> but what but, a, what but, a, but a, seriously But folks. what a ride. What a ride. So I'm I'll go first. Here's what the takeaways, right? You That's, always go first. Let's do the takeaways. All right. The first one which you've already gone to is how did how did I get it so wrong? And, and I'll just put it that way, because I'm not going to hide behind we all got it wrong. It's more, how did I get it all so right. wrong? Because, you know, uh, I think what made what we tried to go for with our show was to look behind the news, behind yes. the curtain. And, what's and I, and what's we driving were, these forces? Right. We were monitoring social media, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and everything counted. We weren't just pulled down. And we even showed the skeptical eye towards the polls because we right. knew that uh, one in 20 answer the polls so, so we so we, you would have thought with that cocktail we would have had a shot at getting it right I even watched you know to show to put in the effort a uh, raw video feed of a Trump rally just to mm -hmm. get get a sense mm -hmm. of it and, and I think we talked about that and I was yeah. a bit surprised by what I saw but I gotta tell you I didn't see any of this coming not a bit of it um, and there, in my in my world, there are two accounts now for how could we have been so wrong. One account goes like this: tactics, tactics, tactics. Mm. The uh, get out the vote effort got out. Maybe I think an extreme account is Hillary's people got out the wrong vote. <laughs> they, they didn't know their, they didn't know <laughs> who liked her. <laughs> another uh, another account. Un unintended consequences. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, so, so there's a kind of tactical thing of we should have won. The polls, you know, right. should have been monitored more carefully. But the more interesting account is uh, from a, um, a the the Theta Scotch poll, a really smart sociologist at Harvard, who said it's about fundamental institutions that um, uh, out in the, you know, mid, mid belt of the country, uh, Instant major institutions, families, churches, mm -hmm. civic organizations, they were um, uh, affected by the values of the Republican Party. And the interesting question, well, what about Trump? I mean, he's yes. the face of that party. Right. But, but that's what the Democrats missed. They weren't, they were so focused on tactics, they missed the fundamental. They, there were no, right. they certainly don't have unions to carry their message, yada, yada. I'm going to challenge her. 
First of all, I think her account is closer to something real than the, its tactics. Um, so so um, on the election night, uh, when Kentucky first came in and they were for Trump, the uh, uh, media's message was, everybody knows mm -hmm. Kentucky's going to go for mm -hmm. Trump. And I remember looking at that and thinking to myself, wait a second. I know people who live in Kentucky. I'm, I'm a southern-born person. And at least in the arenas I go to, if I had put Donald Trump in a fantasy mm -hmm. in the homes of the folks I know, there'd be a big disconnect. How is this the standard bearer for the people of right. And that's just for openers. How is this happening? And, 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 and this is when you hear about mediating institutions. In other words, I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I'm voting for a Republican Party's uh, 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 selected person. Right. And I'm voting behind that things I think that a, uh, that a Republican administration would do. That's the best I can you think come. so? I don't know. What else? What, is, what have you got? I was voting against Hillary. Not that I was voting for Trump. Because you've heard the expression, I, I held my nose and I voted for Trump. Because I could not abide the possibility of Hillary getting into office. Well, there could be an animus, um, that, and, I, you know, and, I, and I prepared to think about that. Uh -huh. um, but it doesn't work for me. Um, for, because the um, people of Kentucky that I, that I know if I had brought Hillary and husband to their house, right. the charming Bill Clinton and the avuncular, you know, persona mm -hmm. that the collective of that group can muster, it seems to me would have would have been more connected than than a Donald Trump. And so some would say, well, that's the problem. They didn't uh, they didn't turn Bubba loose, right? But I, but I, I just want to quick. I, I think they would have had a bigger problem if they had turned Bubba loose. Well, see, but because that's because he, he was misfiring when he was on but stage. See, that's, but that's from the thing. their standpoint. But that's the thing. I mean, Trump was misfiring. I mean, let's put it this way: if I had been in the homes of people that I know yeah. from the uh, hills of Kentucky, the uh, coming off that bus, being a schmoozy West mm. Coast, slick back, you know, this is what I do. That, there's just not that. That's a. Yeah. That's a. And, and, and so so that's this one isn't computing for me. So I want to go to what I actually think. Do you think happened? What I think might have happened. Okay. And then can we switch to where do we go now? Oh, of course. Of yeah, course. Yeah. Um, but it's otherwise I will have wasted this. It's important to know where you've come from in order to know where you're going, though, right? Uh, sometimes. Not these days. This is this is inchoate, right? This because mm -hmm, the real mm -hmm. answer is I'm flabbergasted, you, and and mm -hmm. I'm prepared to admit it, unlike certain <laughs> friends of ours. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, okay. You, are you admitting you were flabbergasted? I I was, I was surprised. I was prepared for a Hillary win because of all the pundits, all, the, all the data. All the stuff, yeah. The data was on her side. And and my own, she my should own, have won. And my own lying eyes because. Okay, so so let's let's get retain organization. So 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 what what do I think happened? But the miracle was, and this this is really no word. You're, you're going with a miracle. Yeah, it was a miracle, and <laughs> okay. the miracle was that he won without the tactics, without the ground game, without the money, without all of the other trimmings of a more traditional election, where you just throw money at it, enormous sums of money, yes. and you have soldiers right, right, yeah. in right, the right. field. So, so that's. Right. And they did all those things right. magnificently, apparently, as well as uh, uh, Obama did twice. So here's where we are. So, so they're, we they're so masterful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we both and they lost. They right. still we, no, lost. No, we, so we both see the same thing, which is that maybe there's a new sheriff in town. Mm -hmm. And at moments in our series, we've asked ourselves what it could be. What could it be? And and the answer is, is it this? Yeah. Is it the social and and what that implies? The, the um, social media, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, and and that's where I'm going to go. But I, but it's uncharted water, and I have no coherent story or account. But, but it, but but I'll make, I'll give it a shot. This All is right. this is my shot. We take risks on 30 minutes, and my <laughs> shot is that if you can uh, connect to uh, uh, your voter without mediating, 
right, without mediation, right? Because right. the old days you needed uh, the church or the unions or the get out the vote, something that had to get the con candidate connected to the, yes. to the right people all the time mm -hmm. in an effective way. So the theory, the hypothesis is that the Trump campaign it is not a replication of the Obama campaign. You, and you can argue whether the Hillary campaign is a replication of the Obama campaign. It, you could, and that's, that would be well, an interesting argument. A more traditional campaign on either, either side. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah. Okay, and, and so, so the, the thing to explore is, is there now a way to go di to direct, mark, direct marketing from the candidate to the uh, audience? Yes. And, and then if you said, well, if that's true, is it a broadband um, appeal you just put your message out and the and some magically the right people hear it because you would think if if you're um, that the very thing that would motivate a Trump voter should have motivated uh, the other side even if you didn't like Hillary the uh, mm -hmm. the possibility of this uh, so, so so is it that one side heard this and the other side couldn't hear it because one side was plugged in. I mean, those are the kinds of follow-up mm -hmm. questions you'd want to ask. But I think the the robust question is: Did we get our first uh, moonshot in a new uh, I, arena? I don't think there's any question about that. Okay. There was an article. Uh, that I wish I had brought it, but uh, the point was just four short years from now, the next cycle. Oh, I think in two sh two short years from now. Well, the midterm, mid midterm? Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, the, the next No, cycle. I think the midterms are going to be pretty important, too. Well, they will be, but, but the point is the te technology, yeah, the application yeah, yeah. Right, of right, technology. Right, right, right. So four years right. out, a short right. four years out, right. at the rate technology is developing. Yeah, the reason we're, we're going to be operating in a much different world, and the point was made because of sensors, because of voice technology now, you will be walking down the street, and, of course, the, the cloud will know everything about you, uh, who you are, how old you are, where you live, how much you make, what you spend, what you buy, what your political proclivities are, and you will be bombarded with personalized messages as you walk through a, 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 any building, as you walk to the subway. Uh, the technology will pick you up and will send to you a personalized message that you will receive on your phone or an earplug, something. That's so, scary no, no, stuff. No, 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 no. That's so, no, Orwellian. It's, no, here it is. And it's, no, no, and no, it's no, here. no, no. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, okay. And that's why you should change the show to 45 minutes because we're going to need more time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we could just keep talking. So as it is, as it turns out, and it's and boy, is this a timely thing? I'm doing a story. I, I, my, I returned to my journalistic journalistic roots oh. for the time being. I'm doing a story on, as it happens, big data. Seriously, mm. this is a real thing, and I'm doing you mean it. You're doing an article. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and I'm almost finished with it. And That's it's, great. Yeah, and it's it's about, uh, and I didn't see the connection when I took the assignment. But the the point was in. Uh, bear with me. Just hang. Put on your seatbelts. In the fashion <laughs> industry. Yeah. And not just the fashion industry. Yes. Accessories. Yes. Women's accessories, which yes. is something I know quite a lot about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> it's it's it would it's my wife is amazed yeah. every every at breakfast now I'm mm. I'm a figure of interest like tell me what's happening with on the runways. <laughs> but the but the point is that 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 um, this thing that we were just talking about, which comes from the movie Minority Report, the uh, manipulation of. Um, Discourse because mm -hmm. uh, because some entity controls mm -hmm. big data. What do, what does it make yes. of it? Well, I actually now get to know because I've been talking to these people, and they've got a and they ha think they have a problem, which is uh, there's something called the paradox of choice when more is less. And I'm quoting from yes. the title of Barry Schwartz, who said, you know, you don't have to really worry about big data because once you put um, uh, a, a, an exponential increase in choices and and um, information. People don't choose. Yeah, you screw up. Right. And 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 so so the real thing about big data is how to who how to manage it. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes this election so interesting. So so to cut to the chase. So so the smart ones in this arena have figured out how to uh, slice and dice the big data. Precisely. So that you don't really have a choice. They they know what you, they can they've anticipated what you're going to want or need right. or what choices are going to be appropriate for you and that's where the real action I, is. I agree and that's the scary part. 
because we will all be susceptible to that kind of manipulation. But, no, no, but think about this. Until we no, figure no, no, out no, 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 but think, no, 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 but think about this, because it's like most things. There's a, tooth, a Janus kind of thing going on. If someone came to you, or let's make it me, let's make it me, and said, look. This um, is all about you. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's anticipate what you're gonna, how you're going to handle your sh holiday shopping, right. which is a real thing. I just did, just yesterday. And one of the things in our household is my wife has fallen in love with this Lauren Ashley dress <coughs> I once got her in 1999. Mm -hmm. Lauren Ashley is more or less out of business. You can't get the dress. And every holiday season, I go on this journey <laughs> to find this stupid dress, right? And I was, I was talking to this 31-year-old kid. Uh, I don't know where she lives, uh, somewhere. Uh, and, I, and, and she had assembled 5,000 boutiques from across the world right. into this one shop place. Mm -hmm. And their thing is, we make it happen for you. Mm -hmm. And I gave them a test. I said, look, for some years now, almost 20, I've been trying to find this stupid <laughs> dress. <laughs> And I got to tell you, in 10 minutes, they had found it for me. No kidding. Yeah, and, and it turns out it's in some suburban strip mall yeah. in Southern California. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and there's a backup one in Mexico. And the relevance of that the is... The relevance is... Interesting story. Well, but the but relevance, the relevance is, is the Janus face of the new media. In, in other words, the, the, the scary version is, oh, they're going to manipulate us, control us, and, you know... Yes. Uh, <laughs> Which is no, the that's, that's the dark side of it. <laughs> the happy side of it is you can use the technology to satisfy almost any need, whim you have. Right, right, and it's called agency, right? So, so the pro so the issue is: does the new technology, does the new, does this new communications arena give us agency? So a guy like me, clueless, can get what they has, they've long sought for, mm -hmm. and 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 a, and, a, and a facilitator is there for this. Is look, I'm here to help you, mm -hmm. as opposed to. You transfer agency to the great unknown, you know, the right. mm, scary something or other, who use their their capacity, their ability, mm -hmm. their agency to screw you over. Mm -hmm. Right? Those mm -hmm. are the two competing narratives. Now, no, no. So, so, so. First of all, that alone makes for an interesting conversation. But let's take it home, which is well, just so. What? How does this apply to some election we just had? Right. And that's what's got me worried. The scary version is uh, inadvertently the Trump campaign <laughs> with some friends, some would say, was, you know, uh, hijacked an American election. The other version of it would be... Hijacked? Well, because people who should have won didn't win. Okay? Just work with me on this. Just okay. give me, let me put the hypothesis on the table and you can go chew it up. Okay. Right? That's right. what you usually do. The other version of it is uh, in a, in a, in a, in a Inchoate version, uh, people with a great dis with deep dissatisfaction mm -hmm. were given the ability to select to know about the person and, and issues they wanted to know about, and then they were told how to get what they wanted. Now, the part of it that's a problem for me, just speaking for myself, is when I run across people who tell me, "Leave it all to me." I'm going to fix it. Just give me all yeah. your undivided attention or power, yeah. and it's all going to be better. Mm -hmm. I immediately look for where my wallet I, is. I agree. So that's the hook for what, how, how this is being implemented. But, but the capacity and the ability to deliver messages, to ta th that becomes really super interesting. But, but in the face of that, those yeah. forces, the technology, uh, the fact that we're still grappling with how to manage, handle, yeah. uh, control. Right. Uh, so that te the technology serves us right. rather than the reverse. Right. Brings us to what I wanted to talk about. Sure, go and, ahead. And the question I think is, mm -hmm. after this terribly acrimonious uh, election campaign, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is this country so polarized now that we cannot come back together? Okay. The day after the election, half the country was in mourning right. and the other half was in shock. But delightful. You got to get shock. your story straight. Were they in shock or were they elated? You, at moments, I think you, you can be both. First, okay. first I'm shocked, <laughs> and now I'm elated. <laughs> <laughs> well, because emotionally, I in other words, emotionally unstable. Is that where you're going? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but we've settled down now. But 
we, here, we, here we are, a week out right. from the election, right. and the country is in chaos. We've got protests in the streets, we've got protests, sit-ins and so on, threats on college and university campuses. The, the country is in turmoil. Uh, can, can some you cut to some the chase, would argue I that I we wanted, haven't had right. this kind right. of turmoil since 1860. That when would the, be when called the, the Civil War? Yeah. Do you know how many people died in the Civil War? I mean, just offhand? Uh, a lot. Let's just uh, go yeah, with a that. Lot, yeah. How many people have died after the election we just had? As a as a as a as a associate with the no, election. I'm not making that. No, but you, I'm not you're going making to that extreme. Well, yes, you I'm did. Not, you said since I'm 1860. Not, no, I'm, I'm saying the country is has not been in this much turmoil since. Well, turmoil, turmoil would be. I didn't say violence. Well, or, turmoil in 1860 included death. But in this case, it has, has not. not. So is it, maybe that's not e a good except comparison. Except for the six people who were hurt in the last riot hurt downtown. In the, All right. Except. <laughs> Except, yeah, they, did they go to the doctor? Except for the how many police who have been killed, assassinated in this country. Except, Since the election? Let's not go to that fringe. No, let's not go to that fringe. Let's try to have a little bit No, let's not go to that fringe. I simply would like to call to your attention this article in the uh, recent edition of the Wall Street Journal. I'm not going to tell you the, who the author Yes, they were. are. Higher, ire and hate. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about <laughs> peace and love. Spell, spelled differently. Right. But, yeah. okay. How do you get but, material but like this? <laughs> what do you, how do you do this? This is social this scientists. Is, people ask me, why these do are, I like to come are, on your show? People, and this is the magic. These this are this people is, from your crowd. These are social <laughs> scientists. Not ire and hate. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> from your crowd. And I'm going to, I'm going to quote now from your crowd. <laughs> why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Please help me. Hey, it's about tribalism. Oh, <laughs> Please, I'm blinking. I'm being held hostage. <laughs> okay, I'm quite, I can't even quote from this now. The point of it is, <laughs> he, he, he talks about the phenomena of tribalism. <laughs> and we had a good example of it, I think. You said, for example, that uh, the people who voted, many, most perhaps, the people who voted for Trump heard about his, his sins of the past. But that's the point, I think. They heard the words, but they didn't accept it. They filtered it out so that they could hold on to their hope and their belief right. and their animosity, if that's what it was, right. against the other candidate. Right. It was the only way they could get through it to put their vote on yes, the man no, no. that they want. No, this is the, this is good stuff. It, no, so yeah. it was selective on yeah, their part. Yeah, I get part. it. I get it. So we can let's get okay. to we'll, we'll work with it. Okay. No, so this, this this is your space. So. No, this is good stuff. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> how we got there. I don't know. It's it's <laughs> it's what's it, what happened to your it, shock and then elation or something. Yeah, this is <laughs> a mimicking of this is actually really treasurable it's stuff. A, the day after this no, election do is it. likely to be darker and more foreboding than the day just after any U.S. election since 1860. Be quiet. Is it possible for Americans to forgive, accept, and carry on working and living together? I'm going to challenge the premise. No, this is totally bogus, okay, because, and, and I've already signaled why it might be, you know. Okay. The, the tre treasure of American politics is, unlike a, quite a number of countries in the, on the globe, we first of all we have routine regular elections and mm -hmm. afterwards uh, people might want to walk around on the street which they have a constitutional right to do as long as they don't destroy people and beat up people and, and destroy businesses well i think after obama fires. was elected there were people who were openly walking around with guns so that's that but that's they have a legal right to do that as well so okay. the uh, the ability to, progr to to protest is mm -hmm. is part of the part of the process right and the uh, fact that we have elections that routinely settle on a new, you know, uh, government, that's what we do. And so far, it's what we've done. So I would look more to continuity than disruption. That would be my first take. My, and, and, and you have the sitting president who, a month or two ago, had some pretty choice words for the uh, oh, yes. candidate who won, and yes. and and, it, and, and still does, and 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 got it back in kind. Trump was not kind to the president, and then the day after the election, they're sitting together. Uh, I don't think tea was served, but s swell things were said. The the we yes. have a process, and it, it's in yes. and it, it is a foot. Right. So that's for openers. I'm, I, I think that I think you can't we, w we all would have been surprised had that not been the case. Well, apparently, ire and hate. <laughs> <laughs> looking at 1860, and I'm looking at well, 1974 mm -hmm. or 19, <laughs> 2012. Mm -hmm. You know, it's what we do. So, so that's for openers. And the second thing is, and I think a better read on what we've just witnessed comes from of all people, Glenn Beck. 
You know what Glenn Beck's been running around saying lately? No, I don't. It's amazing because I'm he's not my guy. I'm not sure he's your guy. But um, his thing is, look, the real the, one of the problems we've got right now is to go back to the uh, Trump voter who right. is, is filters out some stuff about Trump and holds mm -hmm. on to other stuff and does it, and the Hillary voter does the same thing, by mm -hmm. the way. So Beck's in, insight, surprisingly, is that's the problem, though. You, what we need is a restoration of uh, 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 a regime of truth or something so yeah. that whoever does X or Y, that's a, ba that's a bad thing. Yeah. And whoever does X or Y in the good way, that's a good thing. What we've got now is, that, well, if my guy did it, it's not a bad thing. Uh -huh. If your guy did it, that's a bad thing. So if, if um, so, Beck is saying we need somebody to tell us what truth is. No, he need. He says and we, what we need, should accept as truthful. He says we need a return to virtue. He doesn't. Right. He isn't talking about some okay. morality cop no, or something. Mm -hmm. He's just saying the the evidence that we have okay. a, 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 a toxic uh, polity mm -hmm. is that now if uh, we had switched things and somehow. Hillary had been groping people. <laughs> it's it's going to be right. hard to pull this one off. And Trump had had problems with his emails. You might have had this thing. Well, yes. What's the pro an email problem? Is nothing compared to a, you know, a, a uh, sexual offense of something, which, a moral which, which offense of, course of some is what sort. Many people were saying. Right, right, right. So, 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 the 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 fever. The evidence of the fever is that um, we aren't able to say right is right, wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. My guy is wrong. You instead go, if my guy did it, it's not wrong. And if your guy did it, yes. it's not right. And that's what, if you want to drain the swamp, yes. that's the way you do I it. I agree with that. And so that's the problem, at least one that I would endorse. I agree this. with that. But otherwise, I wouldn't say that we've gotten so bad that you've got um, a loss of comedy. I think I think you have people rightly saying, you know, it's not how I want. Uh -huh. it's not, it's, I don't agree with what just happened, I, and that's quite all right. I think... I I think we could be in very serious trouble. I really do. Oh, I think, think we could be in serious trouble, but the reasons why are very culturally different. Yeah. in serious trouble, um, and getting away from the mores, the I'm values, not, no, the I'm kind not, of standards that you that. were that you were talking no, about not, before. Well, just, yeah. just bear with me. Uh, we, we've got uh, 79, 79 million baby boomers who are just moving through. We've got 80 million millennials who are right behind them, and we've got that group in between. Gen Y, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or uh, is it Gen X or Gen Y? Nobody I talks. Can't it, nobody it. talks about them. They're Poor kind of lost babies. in the shuffle. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then we've got the, I think it's Z. They're calling them now. Is that right? In college now, the okay. ones who are protesting. So that's a generational and, slice of things. Okay, yeah, but, but, sure. But right. as we move away, I believe, yeah. as we move away from the values of the boomers, yeah. uh, which were for the most part. Well, some but, of the 50s, but, but into the, the boomers weren't a the great 70s. generation, and they're still on the planet. They, they are, but they're moving off the planet, and that's well, my so point. Are the look, the, 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 head, the point, so the point that about the point about last night I was at, uh, we were at the theater. I, uh, look, and, I get, and, and during the interview, the chap problem with generational me. politics is as people uh, go older, chap they change. Up to me, and he's a, he's probably a boomer. Maybe early people boomer. change as they oh, and over he time. said, yes, I agree. So you can't just make that the critical. What do you think? And he said, you know, he said, don't you think we're moving into an era of fascism? Is it fascism? He said, yeah, this is, we're becoming a fascist country. Uh, or, or a plutocracy, he said. And it, it got me wondering, well, there are some elements of fascism, some elements of plutocracy and oligarchy, uh, but we're, I think we're still a democratic republic, I right. think, right. Uh, politically. Economically, not so much, at least the past eight years, almost eight years. But we've had these periods before. We, we have, right. we have. And, and, uh, but it, it disturbed me that this otherwise bright uh, was serious about this. Yeah, well, that's why we're on your show because we don't just because somebody off your show goes serious about something doesn't mean they're right. So here's the thing, and I know you don't have much time. The the the, the possibilities are one, um, people change over time. That's important. Yes. And two. Um, they they tend to bec become more conservative. In fact, they could go either way. No, they I tend mean, to become more conservative. Um, the okay, I won't, Except that. we don't have enough time to challenge it. The key, the key, the, the point for to me <coughs> is that <coughs> if you can um, um, build, uh, there's a there's a there's a there's a art to getting elected, and then there's an mm -hmm. art to governing. Yes, the governing game has just started. Yes, and that <coughs> is the arena that. I'm curious about, mm -hmm. and, and, and first of all, I don't think the social media will matter because this is a game of insiders. 
I don't agree with that. It will matter in how he governs because he has used it so adroitly in the past and plans yeah, to continue just because, using it. Yeah, but just because he can do Twitter he talk. Will go, he will go directly. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the, the, that, that the, the um, very passionate members of Congress are going to go with him. Oh, oh like I agree that. with that. There will always be these counter forces. Right, right, and, right. and Julia is now telling me we've out of, we're out of time. Oh, that's we've too We've done it again. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Fifth in a series. Fifth now, in a series. So I guess next time yeah. we'll talk about how the new, the new, the the new, early, the, early stages the of governing. Trump, Trumpism. Trumpism. Yeah. That's okay. All right. All right. Always a pleasure. As always. And nowadays <laughs> a thrill. <laughs> well, okay. Well, hey, as always, I hope you enjoyed some of this. We certainly did. Uh, we always have fun together. And uh, hopefully uh, give you something to think about and agree or disagree with us. Until next time, this is 30 Minutes. I am Rick Anthony. Take very good care of yourselves.